<laughs> Hi there, it's Tim, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Muckpit Suburban 750 watt motor at the back, a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery in the middle here, and you know what? Great big fat tires, which makes me think we should probably put the fat tires to the test by taking it out to the beach. Let's go to the beach. So what I would like to share with you is that it is a budget e-bike. And so because it's an, it is a budget e-bike, it's not gonna have all the bells and whistles. It's not gonna have the biggest battery. It's not gonna have the most beautiful display. But you know, I'm quite pleasantly surprised by this. I mean, the battery is pretty decent at 15 amp hours. The tires, 26 inch, four inches wide fat tires. That's pretty astonishing. It's got a suspension at the front. It's got a nice big light at the front. The model I've got even has a great big basket behind me. And, you know, as I'm riding it around, I, I have to kind of temper my excitement, as it were, and remember that it is a budget e-bike. Like when I looked at the price on Amazon, I was shocked at how inexpensive it was. So it's got a throttle, which I'm gonna use right now to take off and continue on to the beach. Here we go. And I gotta say, it's got really good brakes too. Really good brakes. Yep, really good brakes. Well, that was a brave family back there. They got a baby, brand new baby, and a puppy. What I am liking is the, the throttle. The throttle is right in a nice spot. I can just give it the beans and I'm out of here without pedaling. Love that. So one of the things I'm noticing that I find kind of interesting with this is that it has a top speed of about 20 to 22 miles an hour. That's like 32, 35 kilometers an hour, uh, which Honestly, with an e-bike, that's plenty fast enough. Um, one of the things that's kind of quirky about it, though, is kind of funny, I find. In gear five, which is when you're about to hit your max speed, you can use a throttle and get that max speed, no problem. But if I was to gear down to, like, say, for example, gear number two, and then give it the beans throttle only, you'll see what happens here. That's it max speed is about 10 or 12 miles an hour. So, so that means that if, unless you're in gear five, you're not gonna be able to get the maximum power from the, uh, from the motor. So just you know, keep that in mind. That's kind of quirky. If you know that, it's not a big deal, but I just thought I'd share that. I must say as well, unboxing was pretty straightforward. It's a big e-bike. Not super heavy, it's about 62 pounds, but it's still pretty big. And um, it fit in the back of my car. I went to the airport and picked it up. Putting it together, it took about 25 minutes, I think, which is fairly typical for an e-bike. It's funny, because Michael's actually riding the Muckpit GL in front of me right now, and his was a little bit easier and quicker to put together primarily because it's a folding bike and even the front wheel was already attached and ready to go. This one I had to slide the, you know, slide in the the uh, the front tire and put on the whoops, put on a few things like the uh, front fender and so other than that though it was pretty straightforward. And speaking of weight, it has a max weight of 330 pounds, which is way more than I weigh. And I'm a big guy, but uh, so if you're carrying a lot of groceries or if you're trying to do, or if you're just a bigger guy like myself or even bigger than I am, this bike could be a really good fit for you. It's, uh, we're gonna turn right in here and find the beach. It's 
So apparently a little bit of rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol on the uh, brake discs will get rid of your squeaking. Tim's Electric Cat, the beach is the place to be. If you want to have some fun in the sun, with the winds crashing and the sand between your toes, it's the perfect place to let your worries go. There's something about the sound of the surf that makes you feel alive and makes your spirit soar. So come on down to Tim's Electric Cat, the beach. Where the fun never stops and the party never ends We'll be dancing all night long to the music of the sea And we'll be sure to make some memories So come on down to Tim's Electric at the beach Where the fun never stops and the party never ends So, what do I like and what don't I like about the Muck Pet Suburban? What I do like, of course, is a 750 watt motor. For a bigger guy, it just really makes it so much simpler, going up and down the hills, um, traversing this lovely beach. You know, the tide's coming and rushing in here, so uh, I've got to make sure we get out of here before the tide comes all the way in. But the nice big fat tires, 26 inches by four inches, it's giving me lots of displacement just to be able to go right over the top. And that 750 watt motor, as I said, super powerful. A uh, couple of quirky things I I'm not really sure about. One of the things is the mounting of the battery itself. Now, it just, it's not that it's precarious, but it just, it feels a little bit loose. So if you're particularly hard on your e-bikes, I would be very extra careful with where this battery is. You, what you don't want to do is have it fall off on your brake on a drop or something like that. Get that sand footage. <laughs> so, you know, the battery, not the greatest sort of attaching to the frame, but it looks, it looks pretty rugged. The other thing is I have pretty big feet. So if you have really big feet, <laughs> my left heel on occasion is touching the, um, the kickstand just ever so slightly. So unless you've got size 14 or bigger feet, that's not gonna be an issue. Something I do like is the actual basket it comes with and the frame at the back. It's really quite robust, so I'm really happy with that. Something also I love is that light at the back. It's actually wired in, so when I touch the brake or if I've got the lights on at the front and I touch the brakes, it lights up at the back, letting the riders and cars behind me know that I'm braking. Overall, I'm absolutely loving this muck pet. It's, uh, you know, the brakes are pretty sturdy. The suspension is quite comfortable. The seat itself is adjustable and comfortable. It's good for people of about five, six to six, four, and it doesn't weigh a ton. It only weighs about 62 pounds. So, you know, you can pick it up fairly simply, carry it up some stairs if you needed to, or stick it in the trunk of your car. Overall, I'm delighted with it. Two big thumbs up, big guy approved. Big guy approved.